Welcome back. Let's now finish those tail lights. So selecting the housing we created before, select that loop, separate it into a new object. Then editing this new loop. Maybe tricky to get. I'll just extrude it on the Y axis towards the back. Slide this here until it meets the body. Shade that smooth. Move it a bit further, just like that. Then we'll need to face this region. But before, I want to recalculate the normals and then we can start filling here like we did for the rest. Selecting those two, I'm trying to match pairs before to make it easier for filling this area, just like here, very simple. Now we have this ugly shape that I'm really not happy with. So I select those faces and then move them over here, then S, Y and 0 to make them flat. Now we can angle them using R, Z to rotate them. Let's put them at a slight angle. I want them to protrude from the body, just like here, and tighten that corner. Not too much, you want to have a a rounded edge, like that should be fine. Let's now inset those faces to have a protective loop around and move that over here and add loop cut here to tighten those edges. Just like that. So we have a nice geometric shape. For the materials, I will just bring up that red glass that we had before for the brake light. And then uncheck on the rim, make sure that's not checked. For the black plastic material, I guess we can select a loop here and assign it just like here. And always make sure to see how it looks before, especially with tail lights and stuff that have a lot of glass material, it's very important. So create a copy of that um, red glass, then rename it to uh, red glass 2 or darker red glass and then we'll assign it to this rim around here and we may need to put it on those two faces as well I'll just inset it uh, not inset my run but uh, you could inset it to like keep this material into this region but I'll just assign more faces to that uh, darker red glass. Let me slide those so they're pretty much straight. Same for here. Slide them up. And then once it's a nice rectangle, just inset those faces and then extrude them back. Now create a new material and we are going to pick up the wavy glass that we created. And then assign it. Just like here and check in cycles always as much as you can. And after duplicating it, you can just play with the scale, see what looks best to you. Uh, 
and I will even rotate those lines. Yes, that's better. I was rotating the HDRI before. Selecting this loop, we can give it the darker red material as well, just to have a, a bit more contrast and interesting stuff going on. Try different things, see what looks best. It's always a, a winner recipe. Okay, that's good. I like that. Feel free to just play with the camera and move around the car. It's always important, in my opinion, to spin around sufficiently around the model. Now for the internal components, I'll just edit this part here, separate the selection by after selecting a loop and then we'll move it back over here, extrude it on the y-axis, scale it down a tiny bit, then extrude and scale. Shift N if needed to recalculate the normals, then connect those uh, together, just add loop cuts here at the top to match the same numbers and fill that area back in, just like here. Now that's perfect. Let's give it a chrome material. Much better. We can make it darker if needed by duplicating the chrome material and just reducing the the white to a light gray. Now put the cursor to the center of that selection and add a icosphere. We'll scale this down and go put it in the middle after shading it smooth. Now we'll just give it a chrome material or whatever. You could go full glass and then put something inside it if you wanted to go the extra mile, but it's not needed in my opinion and nobody will see it. So for the rest, we'll just select this set of face here, here, here and here. Duplicate it and then separate that selection. Add loop cuts on those corners, merge those at the center or at last, doesn't really matter. Loop cuts to the top and then merge those as well. Just like here. Then I will put pull that back in and slide that corner which was annoying me. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Make sure it doesn't come out from any side. Then remove all the materials from it and go pick up that car light material that we had for the front tail headlights that you can find on Blender Kit. Just unwrap your model and we should have something that looks very dark. So we'll need to change that. So duplicate it just to be sure that we don't edit any other material. Then let's unplug the specular and metallic, yes metallic, it's not needed for us, but let's crank it to one. Same for the color, just unplug it and then we'll reduce the bump height. So it's uh, less intense and a bit prettier. Let's play with the scale, we can just make it a bit bigger. So the less bumps you have, the more light it can reflect, so the lighter it will appear. So keep something in the middle, not a 1 or not 0, just something like here where, where you will see the triangles without just 
Iving everything. That looks pretty nice. And it was relatively simple. Your tail lights may be much harder, but try to follow a stance like for the headlights, if that's the case. So now for the roof, we're going to create a sunroof. You can skip this part. It's not um, mandatory, I believe, for the for learning car design. So I'll just scale that and make it square, selecting two sets of faces, just like here. I will then separate them by selection. You could have inset them before. It could have saved us some time. So I'll just add loop cuts here and another one here to tighten that area. Let's move that over here, just like that. Let's straighten this one, move it here. Okay, now select, slide this loop here. Same for that vertex. So the corners are sharper. You may need to add loop cuts on the sides. If you have a more curvy roof, check if it doesn't change the curvature, curvature so much that it destroys your uh, shrink wrap. But after that, you're going to select that loop and then scale it down. Well, extrude it, then scale it down. You probably understood. So extrude, scale, and then we're going to set your pivot to act, uh, not active, but individual origin. If you want to scale your two sunroofs at the same time, and I'll just slide those over here so they match better. Evie will now compile those shaders and allow us to see better. Select those faces, scale them down. Move them on the x-axis if needed. Okay, EV will take its time and just compile shaders forever. In the meantime, just uncheck uh, only RAM on the Solidify modifier. And you can even make the material offset to 1. We'll remove all the materials while EV is still compiling its shaders. Add a glass material. Just waiting for EV to answer. Blender may start to become slow for you at this point. At least it was starting for me. So add a glass material. And then we're going into cycles to see how it looks like and if it needs to be darker. We may not need to have it at full uh, pure white. So let me just rename that sunroof. Just like here. And then duplicate that glass material and rename it sunroof. Because we'll do something very special to it in a later episode. So I'll just make it much darker because you don't usually see a lot of lights of light coming through. Back in edit mode, we're just going to focus on this one. So inset it and Blender won't let us do it. So I'll just auto merge and then slide this vertex here, slide this one here, slide here and then slide here. And we'll need to add loop cuts to fill up those corners. Just like here. Turn off auto merge if Blender is annoying. And now divide that section in two and we'll create a second material slot with a glass material and a black plastic material for the third one. So assign those faces the second glass material, then set offset to one. I think you know the drill. Now we're going to do the exact same freaking thing for the rear. So merge vertex, merge vertex, then create a 45 degree angle and a loop that runs across it. Then we'll just add loop cuts, loop cuts, and loop cuts. Let's just play with this one here. That's annoying me. 
Okay, let's fill up that corner. Divide that in two and assign it the second glass material. Okay, perfect. Now I'll just spin around the car a bunch of times and hope that it looks good. Feel free to change the material if you feel like it. For me, this looks pretty alright. 